There's nothing worse than having your subject out of focus. You can't fix this in post. The only solution is to do a reshoot. But what if you only had one take? Well, these five tips will help you to get your shots more in focus without any of that fancy stuff like a follow focus. Hey folks, it's Jordi here for Cinecom.net. I shoot many event movies on a DSLR, which means a pretty shallow depth of field. And as you know, at an event you usually only have one take to get it right. So it's important that the subject is in focus or that your focus pool was spot on from the first take. The first tip I have for you is the most important one of all, and that is know your lens. At events I always use one lens, and I've been using that lens for so long now that I know it inside out. When turning the focus ring on your lens, you're removing the focus field to a different spot. And you should try to get something in focus without even looking at your monitor. You can do that by feeling how much you're turning that ring, and that just comes down to how familiar are you with your lens. So here's how you can practice that. Walk around in a room and often stand still to make a picture of something. But don't look at your screen. Try to guess how much you need to turn your focus ring to get that subject into focus. Start from either infinite focus or the closest range so you have a reference. Then after you've taken the picture, take a look at it and see if you succeeded. If not, then do look on your monitor to focus for that subject and try to memorize how much you need to turn that ring. The next tip is about focus pulling. If you have trouble to get your second focus point right, then this ID might make it easier for you. A focus pull always goes from something that is far away from your lens to something that is closer to your lens, or the other way around. Now it's important to know that objects further away from your lens have a much bigger focus area, as with objects closer to your lens. In other words, chances are smaller to have your subject out of focus when it's further away from your lens. So if you'd like to do a focus pull but aren't sure if you would get it right, then start with the subject closest to your lens in focus and pull to the other subject that sits further away from your lens. On to the third tip, which will help you to keep your subject in focus while following it. This reflects again on the first tip, to know how much you need to turn your focus ring to move your focus area. Although I see a specific problem occurring many times with my students. When they're following a person and their image gets out of focus, they start turning their focus ring out of panic. And that's the worst thing you can do. While following someone, you need to look back and forward from your monitor to your subject. Try to constantly be aware of the distance. Your subject could suddenly be further away or closer, and it's on that trigger you need to adjust your focus. And instead of just turning left and right, you must try to know instantly which direction you must turn to, and you know that from looking at your subject. When getting closer to each other, slowly turn right, and when getting further away from each other, slowly turn left. But since you and your subject are moving, know that you can also get your subject back in focus by just walking a bit slower or faster. Ideal, you want a combination of both. Now, this is of course easily said than done, so here's a trick that can help you with practicing that. Walk around an object in circles and try keeping it in focus. Try to keep track of the distance between you and the subject so you know which direction to turn the focus ring to. The fourth tip. This one is for controlled movements when you have more time to put things up. The idea is to do a focus pool and we're going to create marks that will help us with that. Take a small piece of tape and place it right before the focus ring. Next focus on point A and paste another piece of tape. This time stick it on the focus ring and align it with the first tape. Then focus to point B and do the same thing. Stick another piece of tape on the focus ring and align it with the one which isn't on the focus ring. Now you can focus back and forward from point A to point B and always be sure it's right in focus. And then the last tip for this video is rather simple, but often forgotten. Some lenses like my Tamron 24-70 has a very small focus ring. When you need to focus fast, chances are you could miss the ring and lose a second which is vital. Buy one of these focus gears that will give you a good grip and you can't reach near it anymore. 
These focus gears are meant for a full of focus, but even without one, I find them very handy. For the handy guys, you can also make your own focus ring. Or you can click in the cart up there to buy one for just $3. Thanks a lot for watching again, and as always, stay creative.